Hello students, let us discuss some of the text questions based on electronic configuration and the periodic table. Question number 6. What is the atomic number of element keeping in mind both the cases given below? That is, element is in the third period of the periodic table and it belongs to 17th group of the periodic table. So, as I told you that for each element there is a particle period and the particle group. So, on the basis of electronic configuration we can identify the element. So, here the period is given as third period that means n is equal to 3. That is the outermost shell is the third shell here. And the element is in the 17 group. 17 group what is the general electronic configuration for 17 group element that is 17 group is the halogens so the general electronic configuration is ns2 np5 this is the general electronic configuration so when you put the value here so you'll get 3s2 3p5 that is the outermost electronic configuration and we know that uh, the filling of 3s2, 3p5 only takes place after the filling of inner orbitals that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. So this is the electronic configuration we come up with the help of these two hint which is given to us. So now when you count the number of electron in this uh, that is 2 plus 2 plus 6, 10 plus 2, 12, plus 5, 17. That means the atomic number of the element which belongs to the third period and 17 group is 17. So you can identify which element is the 17th element that is chlorine. So chlorine is the correct answer for this question next question assign the position of the elements having following electronic configuration here the electronic configuration is given on the basis of this you have to assign the position of this element in the periodic table so the electronic configuration is given so when you compare the electronic configuration here the value of n that is the outermost shell that is the third shell. Therefore, it is clear that it belongs to the third period. When you look at the outermost electrons, that is the valence electron, it is in the 3s2, 3p3. That means the configuration, general configuration can be written as ns2, np3. So, ns2, np3, since it the outermost electron is in the p orbital, therefore it belongs to p block. Here, ns2, np3, it belongs to which group? Because in the p block, the group start from the 13th group. So, 13th group have ns2, np1, group 13, ns2, np1. 14th group ns2 np2 15th group ns2 np3 so here it is np3 so we can say that it belongs to the group 15 so the position of this element is the, the third period 15th group so that element is actually which element so when you compare a position of phosphorus in the periodic table you can say that uh, the position of phosphorus is in the third period and it is in the 15th group in the periodic table next electronic configuration is given here from this electronic configuration we can find out the position of this element in the periodic table so when you compare the electronic configuration 
which is the highest value of principal contour number here that is a 4 that is the outermost shell is 4 here so we can say that this element belong to the which period that is the fourth period now we get the period very easily when you compare the outermost shell from the electronic configuration because the outermost electron is in the s orbital so we can say that this element belong to s block in the periodic table and the configuration the outermost configuration is given as ns1 so ns1 that is the general electronic configuration for the first group so we can say that this element which in which the electronic configuration is given that belong to the fourth period and we can say that it belong to the first group now take out the periodic table could you able to find out which element is this that is potassium potassium is the element which belongs to the first group and the fourth period in the modern periodic table the next electronic configuration is given in this way that is a argon and a 3d10 4s2 so first of all identify the outermost shell that is n is equal to 4 this is the outermost shell highest principal contour number here 4 therefore it belongs to the fourth period so that we can easily find out from the electronic configuration now here you can see that there is a filling of d orbital so we can say that it belongs to which block d block it belongs to d block and here it is 3d 10 4 s 2 that means n minus 1 d 10 4 s 2 that is n s 2 so here there is a fully filled d orbital and fully filled s orbital so that is actually which group element that is a 12th group element so that is a fully filled d orbital and s orbital is a present in the case of a group 12th element that is a zinc cadmium mercury these are the elements belonging to the group 12 so this particular case is actually which element that is zinc so zinc is the element which have this electronic configuration so what is the answer for this question that is it belongs to the fourth period and we can say that it belongs to the 12th group in the modern periodic table next one the electronic configuration is given here so on the basis of this we need to identify its position in the modern periodic table so here the electronic configuration when you look at the value of highest value of n that is the outermost shell is the fourth shell because here one is there two is there three is there four which is the maximum value of n here that is the fourth so that means that fourth shell is the outermost shell and here the outermost electron is in the p orbital therefore it belongs to p block so this element belongs to p block and the period belongs that is the period fourth period the period is fourth now let us identify the group because it belongs to the p block so the general configuration of p block elements that is ns2 np 1 to 6 so here it is 4 so np4 np4 ns2 np4 is given to us so this is the element is which is belonging to the group 16 group 16 element how it comes group 16 because for ns2 np1 it belongs to the group 13 so np2 belongs to 14 group np3 belongs to 15 group np4 belong to 16 
so like this np4 is given to us so therefore it belongs to the 16th group in the modern periodic table so what is the answer for this the position of this element is the fourth period and it belongs to the 16th group in the modern periodic table so when you take a periodic table and find out the element which belongs to the fourth period 16 group that aluminium is selenium so that is the answer for this question so this type of questions are very quite familiar for the exam purpose so without the help of periodic table you can assign the position of a element in the periodic table that is its period and its group with the help of electronic configuration. So that is all about the type of questions which we have discussed in this video. So have a nice day.